Gemini. So a major message I was getting for you guys was they were telling me don't get sucked back in. So we could be talking about a past person here. We could be talking about an old job. We could be talking about whatever. But I do feel like yeah, they're even telling me friendship as well. Um, but it's very important for you not to get sucked back into this shit because I feel that somebody is going to try to suck you back into this shit. So, ooh, they just told me something as well. Maybe, okay. I don't know if some of you guys have like a past uh, doing shit, but they're telling me illegal activity also. Don't get stuck back into that shit. So, anyway, I do want to give a big thank you to everyone who has joined my Patreon. Also to everyone that has subscribed to my second channel. The link to both of those will be down below. Also, for those of you interested in ordering a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com where I have different options of different readings you can purchase. Universe, what is the energy surrounding Gemini? What is the energy surrounding Gemini? Okay, so we have the Empress card here. That's a great way, too many. That is a great way to start off the reading because this makes me feel that you guys currently are on the right path as far as your career, as far as what it is that you are creating, putting out to the world. You're doing the right things right now. So for a lot of you that are creators or um, are just really focusing on yourselves and focusing on your success, you're definitely on the right path with that. We do have the King of Swords energy coming up very strong in your energy, not dealing with no bullshit. Um, very much so focused on yourself and focused on um, your forward movement. We do have the Page of Swords energy here. So I don't know why, but sometimes the Page of Swords just can represent news um, regarding a child. So I don't know if some of you guys are like gonna find out about a surprise pregnancy because paired with the empress like that here i do feel like some of you guys may be um in for a surprise so definitely um if this is something that you are not planning be extra careful or this could be something that you are um finding out about i also do feel page of swords is kind of like my spy there could be someone spying on you some of you guys be dealing with an aries you have the full card coming out here but also aries got like that same card so um, some of you guys could be dealing with that, but the fool, this does represent, um, kind of coming out of your comfort zone, taking a leap of faith on something, doing something that you're not so sure is a good idea, or you're just like not sure what the outcome is going to be, but the advice is to absolutely do it anyway. World card, this is a new beginning. Some of you guys may be starting a business. The Empress can also represent that as well. She also represents manifestations. So I definitely feel a lot of you guys are going to be manifesting things that you've been wanting for a long time. This could be money. Um, this could be stability. This could be a baby. Um, whatever it is, I do see you manifesting just that. So a lot of you guys can be seeing 1111 11 a lot. I'm just noticing on this card, there's like 111. Some of you guys could be seeing that number um, a lot as well. That's just the universe telling you that your manifestations are coming in, that, that they've heard um, what it is that you want. And they're just kind of putting opportunities and throwing shit in your path that will allow you to achieve whatever that is that you want to achieve so we do have the chariot card here so you guys can be dealing with the cancer i'm also getting aquarius as well we do have the star card but i see a lot of you guys being very successful this um the cancer what the fuck the cancer the chariot card does represent forward movement it also represent it could represent travel so you guys may be having um some travel in the near future but also to me it represents success so whatever it is that you're doing um, as far as your career or as far as your creative projects, this is going to be a major success for you. So we do have the three of pentacles here. I feel like a lot of people want to work with you. I mean, this could represent coworkers, but I kind of feel this represents people wanting to work with you or people wanting your services or, um, whatever it is that you sell or create. People are really interested in what it is that you've got going on. So we do have the Queen of Wands energy here and the Nine of Pentacles. I love these two energies together because this makes me feel like a lot of you are just doing whatever it is that you need to do to achieve this financial abundance and this stability. So also happiness. The Nine of Pentacles, this this lady's happy here. She's very content with how things are going in her life. And I do see a lot of you are walking into that energy or already or are already in that energy. I also feel some of you are worried that you may not ever reach that point, may never, may ever not reach the point of just being happy and satisfied with what it is that you're doing. You do not have to worry about that because I do see you reaching that um, level of success for yourself. What is the energy surrounding Gemini? 
I see a lot of you are really taking a chance and like really making the effort to step out of your comfort zone and this is exactly what it's going to um, allow you to propel forward so we do have the seven of swords here in the karma card so for a lot of you a karmic cycle is going to end you may find out that someone is not being truthful with you could be an aquarius i'm also getting a fire sign here with the queen of wands aries leo sag um, but you're going to find out that someone is not being truthful why is the seven of swords energy here okay so we have the queen of cups all right so this could be ooh, this could be a business partner it doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship. It could be a business partner or a friend. Give me more on the Seven of Swords. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Okay. So you're going to find out the truth about something. We do have Justice here. Um, and the Ace of Swords coming out. Both of these cards represent getting clarity. So I do feel that you are going to be getting some clarity on something also i do want to clarify this because this kind of scares me a little bit low key i mean not for you guys but for whatever um justice and karma coming out both of these cards to me when i think of justice it makes me think of someone getting what they deserve kind of like their karma so somebody in this situation is going to be getting their karma why is the justice card here why is the justice card here okay they have the Four of Swords and the High Priestess. Yeah, I kind of feel like you guys intuitively already know uh, maybe what's going on. And I will post some advice on maybe what to do about this. But I don't know. It feels like you're going to, yeah, you're going to find out this information, whatever. Um, I don't feel like it's going to be a, a big deal. I actually feel that you're going to handle it with a lot of grace. Um, not, I don't feel, I don't see you freaking out or this affecting um, what it is that you're doing. I don't feel like you're gonna skip a beat or anything like that And I almost feel it's just because you're not going to allow whatever this information is to um, Hold you back in any sort of way Like I said a lot of you are very strong in your power here with king of swords energy It's very much so um, in your element not allowing shit like that to Affect you or affect your forward movement. So we do have the page of wands here um, they just told me like new employees. Some of you guys may be a new employee somewhere. You may be hiring a new employee if that's um, Yeah, almost like you might have to fire someone Whether this is like from a job or this is just you eliminating them from your life. Somebody's going to be fired um, We do have the ace of wands here and the seven of pentacles this new endeavor is going to pay off for you This is long-term stability here Whatever it is that you're doing or whatever job that you um, are pursuing this is going to provide you with long-term financial stability. So the star just flipped over again in the deck. It makes me feel like there's a lot of hope for you in a situation. I do feel like this has to do with your path or your career or something like that. Also, Phil, I don't know, the hanged man, this is kind of like getting an epiphany. He's like hanging here until he sees the truth about something and I do feel like all of these cards are telling me you're going to get the truth about something I'm going to try to pull some more cards to see maybe what exactly that is I feel like for a lot of you this is going to be um different things but I do feel like this could have a lot to do with this new moon that we're about to have also I think it's on the 6th or the 7th in Virgo um a lot of things are just going to be revealed to you why is the hanged man energy here so you guys can be dealing with the Pisces being strong. Um, Libra, Pisces, Aries, energy. Okay. Oh, okay. So I do feel like something that you've been waiting for, maybe some of you have like not necessarily been waiting on love. Maybe you've not really, you've just been more focused on like yourself because I'm getting a lot of that energy here. But I do see options coming in. Um, as far as love, I do see you um, connecting with someone in particular. Like the Two of Cups, this represents an important union. So I do feel like you and this person that are about to kind of merge paths, this is for a reason. So do know that for some of you, this love life has just been like non-existent. Um, that is going to change for you guys. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Oh, yeah, A lot of you guys have been buried in your work or buried in your art, whatever it is that you're doing. And it almost feels like this person is going to not like take you out of that, not um, hinder your success or anything. But I do feel like it's going to be a nice little break or just a nice uh, like thing to focus on as far as that goes. Because I do see this person having very good intentions with you. So we do have the Magician card here and the Knight of Swords. You are moving forward at a 
like a really fucking fast speed. I really feel as um, September goes on, and of course my readings are timeless, so if this can resonate with you, whatever, but I do feel that shit's gonna really start picking up for you and you're gonna start um, seeing growth and seeing money coming in like faster than even you expected or think or thought was like possible. So do know if you are working with clients or you're working with sales or you're working with something like that when you gain followers or whatever it is, you are gonna see shit like go from like zero to a hundred. So I don't know why I'm just feeling a lot of speed for you guys. The fact that the Knight of Swords and the Chariot card are here, like shit's gonna start moving real fast for you. So I am going to pull advice from another deck. Universe, what is the advice for Gemini? Ooh, okay. Ooh, so we have the Emperor card energy here. So I definitely feel this is where you guys are stepping into. You're stepping into this very boss-like. And I almost feel a lot of you are literally building an empire for yourself. So some of you guys be building a business, um, just building financial wealth, whatever it is stay focused on this energy even though you know you got all this great shit coming you got this person over here this like bullshit and whatever stay in this king of swords energy like just stay very much so okay if you are not with me then get out the fuck out of my way like this is the energy that pretty much you need it's not even being mean it's just being like very straightforward i feel like this energy is exactly what is going to lead you to this type of success so I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website, swordstarot.com, and hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Also, do go check out my lashes at jayslashes.com. Thank you so much to everyone who has supported me. They do go fast, so do place your order soon.